To add another broker to my transaction, I would come down here into this transaction users menu, expand it, and click on invite user. You can invite a member or a non-member to the transaction. Your office name will populate here. If the broker is in another office, simply highlight the office and begin typing in the new. For offices of the same name but in different cities, if you hover over the office, you can choose the correct one. And then you can begin typing the member's email address. I'm just gonna invite myself here. And over here on the right, the user can be a transaction user, a document user, or both. So the transaction user has access to all of the documents and all of the attachments in your transaction. You can define their access as view or fill out and edit. And if you give them maintenance, that gives you them access to all of the forms and all of the attachments and the ability to add forms or delete them. Maintenance users can only be from your office. I'm going to give myself fill out and edit access here. If you wanted the broker to only have access to one or two documents in your transaction, you can make them a document user by selecting the box here. You can give them view or fill out and then select the documents in the transaction to which they would have access. And I don't want to do that, so I'm just gonna cancel this right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and send the user invitation. Click OK and return to my transaction detail. You see that I've been added here. Over here on the right, using the envelope, you can resend the email invitation, see when the transaction was created, an invitation last sent, edit the access of this person, or remove the person from the transaction entirely. This is the email that you will receive when you are invited to a transaction. You can click here to log into your legal library account. And I'm gonna go ahead and just log in as myself this time instead of Bugs Bunny. Typically, it'll be this top transaction here that was most recently updated. When I added myself, I added myself without maintenance. So I'm gonna make some changes here so that you can see what it looks like on your end. Open this form up and fill out the document. I'm going to add a date here and click Save. And then done. And then I'm going to log off and then log back in with my Bugs Bunny account. And click on this transaction. And when I go down here to this document and click fill out, these fields that have been modified by the other broker without maintenance will be in yellow for me. And if I do not like these changes, I can click on the show details and reverse that change by clicking on none or put it back to what I had it set at by clicking the copy to symbol and that will date my change in my reversal. And click done. I'll go ahead and save the changes.